Also, new information tonight on what may be one of the biggest con jobs in automotive history with General Motors among the business partners that were taken for a ride. Off the top tonight at six. First, it was a hedge fund, uh, call, a hedge fund calling founder and former Nickel, uh, Nikola Motors CEO Trevor Milton a fraud last year, as we it, reported. Tonight, it's the federal government calling him a fraud. Milton now charged by the Securities and Exchange Commission with defrauding investors with his alternative energy truck company. Local Four business editor Rod Maloney is live tonight with the new developments. Rod. Yeah, good evening, Kimberly. 65 page indictment and basically it says that Trevor Milton built himself as that modern CEO, you know, the the open, honest, transparent and social media savvy CEO. Well, the feds are saying not a lick of that is true. Trevor Milton called his backers Robin Hood investors, often appearing in business and social media, hawking a hydrogen powered big rig and promising a nationwide fueling system. He also showed off this electric Badger pickup truck. So convincing was he, GM CEO Mary Barra went into business with him. We couldn't be more excited about working with Nicola. Then Milton stepped down as CEO and the SEC started sniffing around. And today, U.S. Attorney Audrey Strauss laid Milton bare. One of the early prototypes in, in Nicola's business could be driven when, in fact, the closest it ever came to driving was when a group of Nicola engineers took it to the top of a hill and rolled it down so it could be filmed for a commercial. That particular claim isn't necessarily as outrageous as it seems, though, says Guidehouse Insights auto analyst Sam Amble Summit. Think concept vehicles. It's usually just a mock up uh, that's non functional, um, you know, that can't move under its own power um, at, at best in many cases. Still, the feds say Milton lied about virtually everything from producing hydrogen well below market rates to having billions in committed truck orders. They brought their case against Milton alone, though. The company is still operating minus the Badger. They are proceeding with work on, on the trucks on both the Nikola 2, which is the, the fuel cell truck for the North American market, and the Nikola Trey um, for the European market. Now, Abel Samid says that the things are not going to be as bright for Nikola as before because they're now in a space where a lot of established truck companies are. They're trying to get started up, trying to get the production capacity going, but there's a lot of very tough competition out there. It's not going to be easy. Back to you. So, Rod, is GM still involved with Nikola? To a point, they pulled way back from there. They, they, they thought they were going to have a piece of the company. Then they decided not to do that. And as it stands right now, all General Motors is doing is providing hydrogen engines for those trucks that uh -huh. Sam was talking yeah. about. Incredible story. Okay. Rod, thanks. Amazing.